bright start from Hibs at Rugby Park. They almost took the lead through their new Hungarian international midfielder, Dennis Rossa. After his shot was blocked, Saul Bamba was there for attempt number two, but Kamarnik survived. John Rankin with the ball across the box, Gary Hay with the initial block from Rossa, and Samba's effort thwarted by sheer weight of Kilmarnock numbers. More pressure from Hibbs, this time the corner cleared by the Killy defenders, but only as far as John Rankin, and the former Inverness player isn't shy when it comes to trying his luck from range. Not quite squiggler mark two, but not bad, Alan Combe touching the ball onto the post. Kilmarnock came to life after a tenacious block from Jamie Hamill. Craig Bryson picked up the baton and managed to set up Connor Salmon, but the striker's shot was deflected over the bar by Chris Hogg. Not the best attempt by Salmon, but the question is, which part of Hogg's anatomy did the ball hit before clearing the crossbar? With half-time fast approaching, Hibbs took the lead with a moment of magic from Derek Riordan. One touch to set himself before volleying the ball into the Kilmarnock net, albeit with the help of a sizeable deflection. Simon Ford, the defender with a touch to wrong foot, Alan Combe, but aesthetically pleasing nonetheless. In the second half, a cheeky flick from John Rankin set Paul Hanlon on his way into the Kilmarnock box. And was this a penalty? Referee Chris Boyle said no. The ball definitely striking the arm of Grant Murray, but the referee, who was in a good position, decided it wasn't intentional. Kilmarnock grew stronger as the afternoon wore on, and when the equaliser arrived, it was a thing of beauty. Hibbs defender Hanlon with the mistake, and Jamie Hamill with the shot to leave Hibbs keeper Gregor Shamatolsky standing. This, Hamill's third goal of the season. Interestingly, his first of the season had come against Hibbs on the opening day in a 1-0 victory. But Kilmarnock don't do victories at the moment, although they did strike the Hibbs woodwork late on. The Hibbs defenders more of a threat to their own safety than the slightly lacklustre Connor Salmon. After the game, both managers claimed the respective teams had been the better side, a sure sign that the draw was probably the right result. So, point of peace in Killy without a home win in the SPL for three months now.